back to the chiller, y'all. In this video, I'm going to show you guys, you can actually clean out your brake calipers uh, when they start to stick. Uh, here's a new one here. I'm going to show you guys. Here's the new one. But I might not need a new one no more than I actually drive this truck. This truck, this brake caliber was 80 bucks on eBay. I got this one on eBay for $80. Now, you probably could get away with just cleaning out your calipers. You won't have to spend that $80. I'm going to show you guys the way that I'm doing it. But I done bought it. I bought the caliber was 80 bucks, though. But I'm finding out, you know, uh, here I can show you guys. You can actually clean them out. Here's the caliber cylinder. You want to take this and sand it off. Oh, I'm going to sit you guys down some kind of way. Anyway, you want to get something like a scarring pan here like I'm using. One of those scarring things. And get you some of that throttle body cleaner or brake cleaner. Best use brake cleaner and just kind of spray up in there like this. Where the caliber slides. This help get all that gunk out of here with some brake cleaner. This uh, helps it slide. See, what causes a caliber to sticks is when it get all rusty up in here like this. It's on this side, though. See, this thing here got to go in and out like that. Every time you hit your brakes, this thing moves and it slides back in like this. Hit your brake again, it come out, and it slides back in like that. Hit your brake, it come out, and it slides back in like that. That's how it works. So basically, uh, you want to make sure this cylinder clean. I'm going to show you guys if I can. You got to sand that cylinder off. Like I said, get you a piece of scar, something like this right here. And uh, if I can, I can show you guys. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to hold the camera here. And hey, what you got to do, it's got a hard, need my tripod. Got to take this thing and sand it. Hold up, guys. All right, you got to sand this thing off. Let's see how I put it between my feet. I'll show you guys how you got to do it. All right, you see that cylinder? You want to sand that cylinder right here. You want to clean it off real good first. I did that with brake cleaner. And you just sand it here. Because you want to see all that gunk that comes off that thing. You want it so this thing can slide. See, that's the key. And you spin it around. Continue the process. Sand it like this. You want it nice and slick, which I already done sanded. it. You want to smooth that cylinder off. See here? Get it slick as possible. Then you take some kind of uh, that grease, car grease, like I'm using here, car grease. Then you put it on that cylinder. I'll show you guys. You take it and put that car grease on the cylinder like this. Spread it all the way around. So it'll slide inside the caliber housing. See here? Put it up there. It's like soap. And uh, that's it. Then you put it up, put a slide. You got to put you got to press that uh caliber back, caliber uh piston back in there. You make sure you clean this out real good in here too. So it'll slide. See here? All that gunk. Good idea to sand in there, see here? Get all the gunk out of here. Because this is really where your caliber slides it. And it's important for this to be slick as well. So to slide like it's supposed to. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm using that brake cleaner. I actually clean all this gunk out. This is seals tore here, but it's all right. I don't drive this truck a lot. I just want it so I can tinker around with it and move it. But the caliber, I just want to make sure it ain't sticky. All right, see, so you want to make sure you clean all this out in here real good. If you're in a pinch, you know, this will work. You actually unfree your caliber. Now, what makes them stick, like I said, it's just that the fact that it doesn't slide the way it should. You got some rust or something here catching. See, you want to make sure you sand all that smooth. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. You want to basically do the same process you did to the caliber piston. You want to try to take yourself and sand it out in here as well. Let's kind of sand it out some in here. You want to get it nice and smooth in there too as well. And take you a little bit of grease. Or I'm using some lubricant spray too. PB Blaster or something like that. And just kind of spray up in here. That kind of lubes up everything. 
All right, now you take your caliber. And you can take it and just kind of line it up and push it back up in there. Bet you'll slide. Eh? Okay, now I got to do this with two hands, so I'm going to do this one off camera. But I'm just kind of showing you guys what the ropes. And uh, that's it. And you slide that back in. You see all that grease that's up here? That's what helps it slide. What makes it stick is rust. See all that rust that comes off like that? That's what makes it stick. So that's how you can clean and get your calibers back sliding again. All right, hit that subscribe, man. Your boy's out, man. Working on Big Boy Dodge Ram truck, man. You know how we do, man. We always working on stuff, man. All right, every day. That's what it is. We lit. All right, I'm out. Peace.